web app. Really easy to do. You just need to scroll down. This left side is our teacher side, teacher page. This is what the teacher is going to be looking at. We scroll down to manage quizzes. And it's going to tell us that we're in Boomer Sooner room, students in the room. There's one. This is the student on the right side. This is what they're looking at. They're waiting on the activity there. Um, and we click create a quiz. Okay. I'm just going to make a, qu a practice quiz. Um, now, the first thing we need to do is add our name up here. I'm just going to call our quiz practice quiz. Um, but my suggestion to you is when you're creating a quiz is title it something that you're going to remember what questions are actually going to be in there so that way you don't get confused when you have a uh, a bunch of quizzes that are saved. Okay. Um, if you're a collaborative uh, partner or you would like to share these with another teacher, you can also enable the sharing and it will automatically give us a number that you can give to your friend. Uh, more videos on that later, but let's create our quiz. You see we have two options, multiple choice or short answer. Um, we can also create a true false within a multiple choice by just adding the answer options true or false. But let's, uh, let's create a multiple choice question to be our first item in our quiz here. Question, hmm, what is your favorite color? I'm going to go ahead and add that in. What is your favorite color? I'm just going to add in some options. Blue green purple red and just for fun clear okay you can see that we have up to five different options and I can give this a correct answer okay so let's just say that the correct answer is blue I'll know this I know this is an opinion question but let's just pretend here alright so there's our first question let's ask another question uh, let's ask a short answer question this time okay so I just press it in don't press save yet okay Oop. who oops there we go see if I can type today is your favorite all time U.S. President. Who's your favorite all time U.S. President? That's not a very good, very well worded question, but we're just going to keep it. Um, and this one, we can't choose a correct answer because there's an infinite number of answers that can come in. But um, if we want just these two questions, now you can add more if you'd like. Um, I'm just going to press save and it's going to tell me you've created a quiz, you can share it. Okay, that's what I want to do. Okay, so I press continue. Now if I go back to my main screen, I can uh, start a quiz and run a pre-made quiz. So that's what I want to do. I want to give this one student on the right uh, the quiz. So I just press start quiz. Um, uh, from here I can select which quiz I want. I'm just going to go to practice quiz. And you have to select either student paste or teacher paste. Okay, I typically prefer student paste just because, but if you have a reason to be teacher paste then you can do that as well. But before you click either one of these, I want you to take a look at some of the advanced quiz options here. We can randomize our answer choices. We can, you know, make them uh, not appear in the same order as we inputted them. We can disable immediate right wrong feedback. So if a uh, student won't know until we actually give them a grade, or we can hide the question explanations. Okay, uh, the question explanations we really didn't talk about, um, and I really wouldn't use in the class. If you want to investigate those a little bit, you can feel free to do that. But student paste quiz, I'm just going to click on that and it's going to prompt the student to start taking the quiz. Okay. The first question is always going to be enter your last name, comma first name. Okay. I'm just going to enter in 
okay? Every single quiz that you create is going to prompt them to put in their name, and you're going to see why here in just a second. We press submit. Okay, what is your favorite color? Uh, I'm going to choose purple, and it's going to tell me it's the wrong answer. The correct answer is blue. Um, let's click the next question. Who was your all-time, your favorite all-time U.S. president? Should have been all-time favorite, but you know, just practice. I'm just going to put in George Washington. Now, student has two options from here. Either they can press finish or they can scoot their computer over and let another student take the quiz. Okay, And that's good for schools who might be low on computers or low on materials, uh, which is a very, very good option. But if we click finish quick quiz, it's going to show on the teacher side uh, that one is completed and um, I don't I wouldn't advocate showing this to the students but viewing the live results as they come in uh, this just shows uh, Bob Smith answered three of three questions uh, and missed the only one that was graded okay um, once I am done giving out the test all the students have taken it if you would just press in activity you can either email the report or download the report. I'm going to choose to download the report, and what it's going to do is it's going to export it into an, uh, an Excel document that's easy to work with. So that's what I'm going to do. Download the report, and of course I want to open it with Microsoft Excel. You can see that it's opening up here. Let me resize this to make it look pretty for you. Okay. There we go, and this is what it's going to look like whenever you download it. Practice quiz, Friday, April 20th at 1.42 p.m. The room, Boomer Sooner. And please enter your last name, comma, first name. This is the answer to the first one. What was your favorite color? Washington, number of correct answers, total score. So the easiest thing to do if you have multiple kids is to highlight them all and just um, um, sort them using the A to Z filter and uh, that's your uh, class list uh, and their scores. It'll automatically score it for you. So I hope uh, this has been helpful for you. If you need any more uh, help with Socrative, please consult my webpage at chasek20pd.weebly.com. Thanks a lot.